chat GPT generative pre-trained transformer, or I prefer to call it a great powerful tool. It's a chat bot that answers pretty much anything that you want to know in a human-like format. Let's translate. What is this? Instead of searching for information in Google like you used to do, and you open a bunch of links and you have to scroll to that website, you have to skip and dodge ads to try to find what you need. And then it's a long text because it was made to rank and you have to read, read, waste time and try to find that piece of information that you need. With ChatGPT, you're going to get that much faster. Okay, so you ask something to the chat and it answers you pretty much like a dialogue with a person. It's not perfect yet, but it's very, very good. It's impressive and it's one of the most advanced AI tools available to the public. Let's take a look. And guys, by the way, as far as I know, there is no official app. You do not download this from the Apple Store, okay? Just go on your Google Chrome on your browser and type the URL that I'm giving below in the description. But all right, let's just read some of the things that are going on on the screen here. First, the tool gives us a couple examples that we can use. We can ask, quantum computing in simple terms, explain a concept, or you get any creative ideas for a 10 year old birthday, or how do I make a JavaScript request, which is like coding. Capabilities, remember whatever was said in an earlier conversation. So you ask, and then you can ask a follow-up question, which is very impressive, because in Google, when you don't find something that you're looking for in the website, now you need to use the search. Now you need to go back to the search engine and you have to search again. There is no continuation. Okay. So here, this is great. Also, the tool is trained to decline some inappropriate requests. And there are a couple limitations here. It may occasionally generate incorrect information. This is funny. It may occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content. So in case it does for you, just ignore it and it has limited knowledge of the world and events after 2021, okay? But let's dive in, okay? So first, let's click on the example here. Explain quantum computing in simple terms. And we click here. So as you can see, this is my question, and now the tool chatbot is responding to us. All right, I'm not going to go ahead and read all this, but you can see it's a pretty good explanation here. Okay, I skipped to the end. Now, if you're not happy with the answer, you can say to regenerate the response. And then it's going to try again in other terms for you. So now you can see here that we have two of two, or we can click and we go back to the prior answer. And you can give a feedback to the tool saying if it was good or if this was bad. But let's hop into some of our own examples. Let's say here, explain for me the reasons behind electric cars. Okay, so now it starts spitting out the answer here. There are several reasons why electric cars are becoming more popular. Environmental benefits, cost effectiveness, energy independence, quiet operation, performance, and then overall electric cars offer a more sustainable and cost effective alternative to traditional gasoline cars, which makes them appealing choice for many customers. You can see it's a pretty nice answer. You shouldn't take this copy and paste and try to produce content. It serves as a foundation for you to produce content much faster. And there's so many other business ideas that you can leverage this tool for. But let's try to follow up and ask something else here. So I'm asking a top three benefits of this. So again, you can see here it's repeating. I skip to the end and let's say I'm not happy. So I can say, give me three different reasons to buy. Okay, so now I fix the question. So give me three different reasons to buy it. Lower operation costs. It doesn't require gasoline, have a few moving parts. That's good. Improve air quality and potential for government incentives. So you see it follow up on my initial subject and gives us good answers. Imagine how much time I'm saving if I need to ask 10 follow-up questions instead of going through Google and trying to find that there. So let's check one more example. I'm asking here, tell me the history of Tesla. So now it's going to produce probably a nice bit of text here about the story. So let's just fast forward this. Okay, 
So we came to the end of the story and let's start a new chat. As you can see, each topic, each thread, it saves here so you can go back to it. But let me ask something else to the two. Okay, so we ask here five ideas of low cost trip around the world. Backpacking, house sitting, work exchange, pretty good. Volunteer work, yeah, that can get you for free in many places. And a road trip. So now, check this out. I just requested an outline of an article with the same subject but in bullet points. And it's creating for me the outline of the article, like, amazing. The introduction, the body, and the conclusion. Now, let's follow up again. Now I just asked the complete article. So let's see what it's going to create. Okay, it gave us a pretty basic or repeated answer, but I can say, okay, I'm asking it now to expand in the article. So let's see. Wow, now look into this. It made us a very decent extra amount of text that has quality here. I'm not gonna read everything, but one last thing. So I'm asking for an attractive headline, but with 160 characters, short. So look, five budget-friendly ways to explore the world. From backpacking to volunteer, find your perfect adventure. All right, guys, this is it for this video. I wanted to keep it short, but I think now you know a little bit about ChatGPT and you can go there and play around with the two. Then come back here, post your comments and let me know what did you create, okay? Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.